Tagus River, lifeline of the ancient Portuguese capital Lisbon, will be the next battleground for what may be the hardest fought import race yet. With its strong currents and tricky winds, the narrow race course should provide some of the most exciting racing we've seen. The big thing here is it's a narrow river that we're racing up and down and there's heaps of current. Um, and the current is going to be a major effect both going down the river and coming up the river. It looks, I believe, the current's going to be coming in that day. So any time we're coming up the river, people are going to be scattering to the edges to try to get out of this current. Whenever you're going down the river, um, you know, you're going to be doing just the opposite. You're going to be kind of funneled in the middle of the race course. So it's enough current to make a big difference. I think it's going to be interesting. I mean, there's a lot of current here, the tide. Um, the wind seems quite fickle. All right now, we've got a nice breeze, and um, hopefully they will be on the important day. But uh, I think it'll be hard work for all of us. A lot of hard sailing for the crews, um, some short legs, um, opportunities for errors, opportunities for gains. Uh, I think it should be quite entertaining to watch. Uh, fortunately, we're near the turn of the tide, so hopefully the current won't be too strong. But it's going to be very tight, uh, pretty intense on the boat handling. And um, you know, that suited us in previous ones, so hopefully we'll be all right. Flat water should help us. With the standing so tight at the top of the leaderboard, there has never been more emphasis placed on the import series. Third place Puma and fourth place Camper will have the win firmly in their sights in an effort to reduce the deficit to the race leaders while Telefonica need to put the two unforced errors of the last two races behind them. As usual, it'll be a bit of a bloodbath. You know, it's just going to be who can get the sails up and down quick enough and properly and not make that big mistake. Because the big mistake, as Telefonica has shown us, will do you in. It, it, that is, that's not an option. A finish that puts four places between Telefonica and Groupama will see Telefonica reclaim first on the overall leaderboard. While overall victory in the Volvo Ocean Race is no longer possible for Abu Dhabi, they have had an excellent run in the import series. Currently Puma, Camper and Abu Dhabi are tied at the top of that leaderboard on 30 points. Not what we set out to do uh, necessarily, but um, we're very pleased with how we've gone import and uh, certainly now with just three import races to go we need to push hard to try and win that series. So, so yes it is important, um, very pleased with how we've sailed so far import. but. Um, this one's going to be a tricky one in the river. Looking, we've been we've been kind of keeping our own scorecard as to how we want to be at the top of the fleet in the import races. And sure enough, I think there's three. I think us, Abu Dhabi, and Camper are like tied for the top overall spot in, in the import races. And team Sanya are the only team without a podium finish, and will be looking for any glory they can muster after a difficult and trying campaign. And fans can be guaranteed Mike Sanderson won't hold back should the opportunity present itself. Our aim with this campaign was to, to get the boat on the podium and if we can do that by playing, playing fair and playing hard, which of course we will always do, um, yeah, we, we're, going, we're going for as high up the tree as we can get. So, yep, obviously if we could get a first place then it doesn't affect them, but unfortunately for them if we could ever get a second and a third we need that, uh, we need that pretty badly, so uh, I'm afraid uh, they'll just have to live with that. Hope the boys eat their Wheaties that morning and <laughs> the grinding world championship starts all over again.